We're back, people, and today we're breaking down film on Ethan Bonner, Miami Dolphins defensive back. He got signed to the practice squad, and we're going to focus on this week three performance. He's an undrafted guy out of Stanford. He only got to play in this week three game, so he's had some limited opportunities to really show himself off, but they clearly liked what they saw because they wouldn't have signed to the practice squad off that performance, but I do like him as like a developmental guy. Keep you on your practice squad for down the line in the future because he does bring some nice... Uh, traits to the game like he's a very good athlete you can look how he tested tested pretty well he has amazing versatility like he can play inside outside and safety so he can pretty much play anywhere you want in the defensive backfield and then I also like his fit in that sort of Fangio scheme it seems like where he would be most comfortable at and those are just like the positives games and then his week three performance I thought it was like a mixed bag he showed some good some bad we'll definitely see all of that but you can definitely see the potential that's there so I like moving him to the practice squad um, here you can just see him very comfortably like this type of play is why I would say he you know he looks comfortable in that Fangio defense I mean they're running cover three but it's just like you know playing as like a deep zone match coverage on the outside just matching number one you have this depth to work with your alignment and you can see how he squeezes this he maintains his inside leverage here um, backpedaling staying square quick feet and then you know opens up that hip just in case he would work vertically and he breaks the inside he's sitting on it and now just in the hip pocket of the receiver on a deep dig route this far down the field it's so it just plays it very very well good patience you could tell he just feels very comfortable in that type of situation and you can see the athleticism later on down the line on certain routes you can see the speed like I think he ran like a 4-4 flat so he definitely has the athleticism to play at the NFL level and in the limited game action because only played like 20 something snaps in the total preseason there's definitely something to work with but it's gonna be uh it's difficult to know until we see him get a lot more reps Bonner at the bottom of the screen this time running cover three again three match just matching the guy on the vertical outside and you can just see the speed to open up like he can play on a vertical plane I believe he's about six between six foot six foot one but like 170 180 so he's got the height you know a little on the thinner side but he definitely feels comfortable like on this vertical plane you can see him just open up his hips match this uh a receiver right here he's maintaining that inside leverage he's smooth in his pedal and then once that receiver like once he feels him start to accelerate there he opens up and from where he was like this receiver has a lot of momentum right there and he's able to match him stride for stride on the field definitely an area i would feel comfortable with, with him if he had to play like he's not the guy on the practice squad that you're trying to look to bring up just like he's one of those guys that you're keeping around to develop down the line and if he can f build on that skill set like they didn't keep that many udfas around like they, they kept like three guys on the roster and then, like, I think they just even cut Randy Charlton. So I'm not even sure what other UD or, yeah, undrafted guys are even on the, the roster right now, practice squad even. So being on the practice squad is actually pretty pretty good performance from him. They must have really liked uh, what they saw at camp when he did play and, like, things in the meeting room because he really had limited opportunities and he was still able to make it out. So that definitely shows something for sure. Bonner actually played a lot of this game in the slot too like he would come in in like dime packages early on and just match up here we get to see him going against like uh Evan Ingram so an uh, NFL level tight end a pretty solid NFL level tight end and he does a decent job here just mirroring matching staying square staying patient they're trying to you know hit him with this whip route here hard return break this back to the outside and he's able to you know match it pretty solidly nice little tight end option we can see him matching receivers on the outside you know like second and third string level receivers but you know a starting tight end in the slot pretty solid rep would have liked to see more possibly this get targeted Bonner did give up a deep ball uh in this game too where he gave up a big reception I'll definitely show that but I would say for the most part there was probably like not a lot of like crazy like a lot of just you know plays where it was just nothing really happening and then there were some positive ones like the ones I've showed and I would say there was like two plays where I thought they were negative um, one where he just was aligned in the wrong spot pre-snap, which wasn't a huge deal, but, you know, those are things you can work on. And then that big reception that I'll definitely show. Looks like the Dolphins are in, like, a variation of cover six, but, it, like, with heavy match, man, to, like, man match rules. So they're basically man-to-man -man up here um, at the top of the screen. He's, you know, playing to the quarter side, but he's just matching this guy on the vertical plane. And he, this is a good rep. I like to see him, you know, playing in a soft press here. Uh, pretty good technique staying square and patient he sort of weaves to maintain that re leverage just based off you know this guy taking a hard outside release and then once he sees him commit he starts to open up that hip he wants to play like still wants to play top down just because you know they are in a zone match here he's playing top down this guy's gonna run a deep comeback he's in a good spot to just match this vertically and the guy breaks in the comeback and he is able to come off of it very cleanly and look how he's like footwork step for step 
great ability to mirror because his feet are just boom, 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 like doing exactly what the receivers are. That's always a good sign. Like if this was thrown, even with like really good timing, he had a really good chance to make a play on this ball. Um, I'm not sure about like the ball skills yet because he did struggle a little bit with his ball skills on the one deep uh, throw, but those are, it's kind of hard to tell from one play, one sample size play where he got really targeted. So we'll see how that plays up down the line, but there's definitely some stuff to work with here in these limited snaps. We got Bonner matched up at the top of the screen again in his pedal, playing with a little bit of different depth between, you know, we've seen him play with like very deep depth. We've seen him play like in a soft press. Here he's sort of like in between there, but still playing like off man coverage. And, you know, just in his pedal, he looks very smooth in the pedal, everything nice balanced, uh, you know, stance there everything under control he opens up his hips the guy ends up breaking would like to say maybe stay a little more patient there and not open up but he's still able to get out of this get down if it was thrown has a chance to at least compete at the catch point given with how much depth he was playing uh just an overall decent rep just nice to see him how he transitions when he does open up his hips and has to come downhill when he's playing in different alignments overall also good play at the bottom of the screen there by deshaun elliott but really focusing on bonner here um overall S definitely liked what I saw, but there's still a lot of question marks because it is only 26 snaps. So this is all with a grain of salt. It's the preseason, but I do like that they kept him around because that means he definitely had to do some stuff, you know, that we didn't see um, that they really liked. And here's Bonner getting beat on like this double move right here. He's playing like quarters on the outside. He's getting matched up and he just gets, you know, a little too over aggressive there, ready to break on it. You see him, he played over the top. He does show some decent speed to recover and he almost gets back into position. But here he's just, boom, Seth Williams hits him with that outside little fake there. He bites on it a little too hard and it's just a little bit too late to react right here. Playing with a little bit more reactive athleticism rather than anticipation, which you want to be anticipatory out there. That's how you really exceed at this level. And now he's behind, but he is able to recover. This is the impressive part to me, like the speed. You can see the speed. He's like two steps behind him and gets back in phase here. Now he's just got to be feel more comfortable like turning to find the ball or playing through the hands he just mistimes it that's why i definitely have questions about the ball skills if he's you know because he gets back into position he has a chance to make a play on this even though he gets beat it is impressive that he is able to get back here to make this play but once he gets close enough and he sees the hands he's got to feel this sees the hands go up you got to just boom shoot your hands through it he had the time to do that he's close enough to do that he just is too late um in that position and those are like the things you know you definitely have to work on if you can't improve in that area then he probably will never you know really get that chance but it's definitely something that is capable of being improved on it's like he has all the the natural skills or natural athleticism that you you know you can't teach he just needs to you know learn on some little things and uh we'll see how that goes but he is on the practice squad so i do you know not too worried about him end up playing this year but definitely a guy that i want to see down the line and we'll see if he sticks around to the next preseason where we can get even more film on him let's play them break down jaguars go very condensed here so same thing with the dolphins he's got like slight outside leverage but they're in cover three here and he's just matching this guy i like how he squeezes it though i like the like the heads up play um good just smart football play a lot of times i feel like even though they're in three match if they're squeezed here they'll still play like hard outside leverage knowing they have help to the inside and let him you know just get like a free release free catch to the inside working towards the middle expecting where they have help but he knows he's not getting threatened by anything over here so he doesn't need to you know be playing hard deep third outside like squeeze this he's able to transition pretty nicely with 84 here you can see his footwork matching up perfectly with the receiver that's always a good sign you know for future plays when you're able to mirror and match like that and you know the fact that he's able to squeeze this they only have like you know a two-man route concept deep down the field with a guy leaking out late and they take away they basically have this guy tripled over here and they all are just working deep over the middle I'd, something must have been wrong with the routes because i mean the spacing is a little weird there but overall like the play from ethan bonner definitely see the potential that is there just wanted to you know i hadn't really watched him at all like there wasn't a ton of film coming out of stanford i watched a little bit of him when he got signed as an undrafted guy um and you know was able to you know but this is like my getting my real look action nfl because he did not play at all in preseason week one week two and i didn't know like that he was even going to stick around because usually when guys undrafted guys don't play in preseason week one and week two um their chances are not that great to make it so making it even to the practice squad is pretty impressive and we'll see if he ends up sticking around or not but definitely just wanted just wanted to be a guy to take notice of because i did think he did some things pretty well overall the athleticism the versatility are things that are uh, i definitely value at the defensive back position versatility is huge and i think you know that's definitely something they might be able to work with down the line so if you guys know the video make sure to like comment subscribe to the